Hey guys, it's Scott. I'm uh, here doing a failed breakout system scan. I'm kind of sick. I get the flu. So I'm going to do this quickly. Yesterday was not a particularly good day for the system. There were some partial reversals. Okay, so AUDC had first up. We are seeing signs of mean reversal. This market should go up, but yesterday's price action was an inside range. And it's down a little bit. This is probably going to go up, but it's but we're already inside the eight moving average um, on the 240, so it doesn't fit our system requirements. Next one is AUDCHF. Full reversal yesterday. No, that that's a, a very bad market to trade in the direction of the trend. Now, what we could do here if we wanted to get tricky is. Uh, is trade it to the short side um, but no I wouldn't particularly be in a hurry to do that AUD JPY same basic deal it looked like it was going to break out and then chose not to break out could still break out but it's not our system AUD, NZD, same basic deal. It's probably still going to break out, to be honest. But AUD, USD, exactly the same thing. So, so what we've seen is something really interesting. Is exactly the same thing in all the crosses across the board. Um, now, this could be reversing it. it uh, if we look at the general shape of AUD USD, which is going to drive the crosses, we have. You can make an argument that we're going to reverse and go up. You can make an argument that this is just a counter trend bounce in a bear market move. Um, both arguments totally valid. Um, that's a coin flip, and that's not our business. We're not in the coin flipping business. Okay, so this one is looking better. We have a close below the previous lows. This one is highly likely to keep going. Um, CAD CHF is a little far from the 240, um, but this one should be on a watching brief. So let me just add that to the watching brief. Okay, so I've got CAD CHF setting up. CHF JPY, this is a nice solid uptrend. Um, And we have a retest. We have a retest here with a stop here. This is a really nice trade because retests off a deep pullback, like a retest off a deep pullback. We didn't get a retest there, but here we get a little hidden retest off a deep pullback. Um, Yeah, after this strong move, this is still a nice. This is still a nice trade. It's it's already kicked off, but we can get in at the same price. Um, I'm not personally taking it, but that's not too bad. And the big news of the last couple of days is this wonderful, steady, strong, and smooth trend. Now, see this trend here that looks with a lot of a trend with a lot of overlapping bar overlapping bars and a lot of wicks that just sends us just steady march up, just elevating its way up and up and up. This is always a decreasing volatility trend. So decreasing volatility um, in the real world means lots of overlap. Okay, Euro, Aussie dollar. Um, we have the start of this mean reversion. Highly likely to continue. You don't want any part of that. Euro CAD. Same deal, right? Um, if you wanted to get cute, you could trade this from the short side, uh, from the long side. Um, it's not quite lined up, so we won't be doing that. Okay, Euro CHF. Who knows what this is going to do? Like, if you don't know, you just stand it, stand aside. Euro JPY again. Who knows? Euro NZD. Again, mean reversion in play. We don't want any part of that. Let's look at Euro US dollar. This will be very interesting. So, 
we have a little bit of two-sided buying yesterday, buying and selling. It went up and then came back down. Is it guaranteed to keep going up? I wouldn't say so. Is it guaranteed to go down? I wouldn't say so. It's one of those coin flippy things. And the big advantage of being a home trader is you don't have to trade. I, I don't think you want any part of that. Okay. GBP AUD. Again, we have the retest off the lows here. We're probably going to start mean reversion and, and pull back at least into this this sort of range. It's not to, <coughs> it's not something you really uh, should be interested in trading. Cable CHF. Um, no, it's too close to the moving averages and could be a trading range. Could be anything. GBP JPY. No, no, um, the daily is way inside, it cannot be a setup. GBP USD could be anything, right? Like, could go up, could go down, who knows? That's not, uh, that's not a game that we want to play. NZD JPY, same thing, um, we're too close to the moving averages, we haven't got a trend. NZD USD should be interesting. All right, on a uh, uh, this particular setup here, I want to point out is a really nice setup. Sell here, stop above the high. We have a significant high. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Uh, yes, we do. We have a, a, a retest, a retest concept, which is a, a setup I don't often discuss. But uh, uh, if this works, it's likely to be. A big winner. Um, it's a 50-50 trade with a with a, a big win, which is not what we're looking for for the fail breakout. But it's a uh, it's a good trade nonetheless. Okay, USD CAD. Not as terrible as it was yesterday. Yesterday I had no idea what it was going to do. Today it looks to be tipping its hand. Um, not ideal, this has to pull back a little more, and this has to pull back a little more, but uh, USD CAD, this is a B grade setup. This is uh, a little bit choppy, a little bit messy, it's not a smooth trend, it technically fits the rules, but it's not one that I would consider a fantastic setup. On balance, I'd probably skip this, even though you know there's a pretty decent chance it'll work. Okay, USDCHF has tipped its hand. If it was going to bounce, it was going to bounce yesterday. This is a really steady, strong, and smooth uptrend. Um, yeah, this doesn't look good. Um, close below all the previous support. Um, I would not be doing trend continuation things here. And USDJPY is one we looked really hard at yesterday. And it didn't do what we thought it was going to do. So, so something else was in play it's too close to the moving averages now um big deep retrace be aware of a retrace a, a retest off this low that would be a good setup so i would be looking at uh usd jpy 240 minute retest setup of any sort so today what do we have today we have cad chf setting up we have USD CAD, which is a B grade setup, and we have a potential USD JPY 240 minute setup. Now let's take a look at that in in a bit more detail. Yeah, there's nothing uh, there's nothing wrong with that if we get a retest. So we need a higher close and then a, another lower close. So the the most that can set up with is that's going to be five hours away minimum. Um, before we look at that. Okay guys, that's the whole day. 9 minutes 22 seconds.